In the following video, we will analyze how increases in aggregate demand or aggregate supply will impact real GDP, unemployment, and the price level. To keep the video brief, I'll only discuss increases in both. The logic behind increases applies to decreases in aggregate demand as well. While not impossible, it is unusual to see a fall in LRAS. This graph will be key in your analysis of macroeconomic policies and changes. Get familiar with this graph and do your best to get a good grasp on the interactions before you move on. To start, let's refresh your memory of the three distinct portions of the Keynesian long run aggregate supply curve. When shifting aggregate demand along this curve, we can have different outcomes based on which portion the curve is shifting along. We'll separate shifts of aggregate demand into three sections. Movement along the horizontal portion, movement along the upward sloping portion, and finally movement along the vertical portion. If aggregate demand is along the horizontal portion of the LRAS, real GDP is very low and unemployment is very high. There are significant levels of spare capacity in this economy and it's likely that there is a deep depression or recession. In this instance, increasing aggregate demand from AD to AD1 is going to increase real GDP from Y star to Y1 and keep the price level unchanged. As more output is being produced, more people are employed, thereby reducing unemployment. If we start the diagram along the upward sloping portion of the LRAS, we can see our initial price level of PL star and output level of Y star. The economy is operating at a point much closer to full employment than we saw previous to this. With lower levels of spare capacity and reduced availability of resources in production, an increase in aggregate demand from AD to AD1 will result in an increase in output to Y1 and an increase in the price level from PL star to PL1. With more output being produced, more workers are needed, and unemployment falls. Finally, if our economy is operating at full employment and the current price level is PL star, then any increase in aggregate demand will result in only a change in the price level, increasing it from PL star to PL1. Real GDP will not change, and employment remains constant. With resources being fully utilized, any greater pressure on them will result only in an increase in the price level. However, it is possible to reduce the price level through the use of supply-side policies. I'll cover them in more specific detail in the Unit 5 playlist, but for now let's see what impact an increase in aggregate supply will have on the economy. If we hold AD constant, an increase in LRAS will cause the price level to fall and extend our full employment level of output. Again, holding AD constant now means we are no longer operating along the vertical portion of the LRAS. We are now along our new LRAS and its upward sloping portion. Real GDP will increase, the price level falls, and unemployment falls, but now we are no longer at full employment. Three key evaluation points before we finish. First, depending on where we start, increases or decreases in aggregate demand will impact the economy differently. Also, we must always remember the size of the change and bear in mind the multiplier effect. So that wraps up this video on the interaction of AD and the Keynesian LRAS. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Email me at enhancedtuition at gmail.com or tweet me at enhancedtuition. After this video, we move on to inflation. I will see you in the next one.